Okay, so now it's time to use these crostini that we've made. I started by dicing six Roma tomatoes, and I want to use the Roma tomatoes because they've got less water in them than, say, a hothouse tomato, because you don't want your bruschetta to be all soggy. Bruschetta is just one of those crowd-pleasing appetizers, and yet, and it's so simple, but I'm so surprised as to when I go out to a restaurant and it's just plain tomatoes on top of not even crispy bread and just with some cheddar cheese melted on it. I want the kick of the garlic. I want to taste those fresh herbs or this fresh basil right out of the garden. And some nice, strong Parmigiano Reggiano, which has been freshly grated. You don't want any of the stuff in the can. It's worth spending the money on. So I'm going to put lots and lots of cheese on there because, well, is there such a thing as too much cheese? I don't think so. Then, because I want the taste of the garlic, but I don't want it to be so overpowering that that's all you can taste or smell in all of your guests. So what I've done is taken one clove of garlic and I've covered it in olive oil and put it in the microwave for about 40 seconds. That infuses the oil and takes the real kick out of the garlic, making it less offensive. So put it that in there. And then a splash of balsamic vinegar. maybe more than a splash. And just combine it. And you'll find the good thing about the cheese, not only is it flavorful, it's really delicious, but it's it adds the salt and it absorbs the liquid of the other ingredients. Okay, and just another splash of the balsamic vinegar. You'll have the strong flavors of the vinegar and the cheese the basil, the garlic. So that's done. See how fast that was? I'm going to take one of these little crostini, spoon it on. Now you might want to do this over the bowl because tomatoes are notorious for running away on you when you're spooning this. And that is really it. That's it. Find a really beautiful platter and just line up all your appetizers like that and your bruschetta is done.